Hey guys, welcome back to Wick's Garage, episode four. I am your host, Dwayne Wick. This week, guys, we are gonna tear the suspension off this car as well as pull the dash out. So let's jump right in. Morning, guys. Yeah, it smells like barn find in here. <laughs> Stinking up my whole shop. So I got the Tahitian Village candles going here. Don't worry, I set a reminder to, uh, to blow it out so I don't burn the shop down, hopefully. Suspension day, let's do this. Okay, first things first, get this thing on a furniture dolly. Give myself a little working room. That's really in there. And now we begin pumping. Yeah. I got in my catching tube. It's coming out slowly. More pressure. <laughs> okay, we're building pressure. 10, 10 or 12 is all you need. You, you gotta get all the fluids out, you see? Such a workout. How did you get so strong? I build cars, baby. But your but your legs are so strong too. It takes every appendage. Okay, balance beam. Bilstein HD, or uh, Sport. Alrighty, things are going well. Got the uh, Bilsteins out. Let's, let's have a look. Got them cleaned up. They can revalve these. You send them off the Bilstein and they'll, Bilstein. They'll, they will revalve them. Um, you can also take the bump stop out for lowered cars. Give you a little more travel there's a big old bump stop in there so i may just sell these and put brand new ones in put the cost of uh, the proceeds of these towards brand new ones these are probably fine but the ends are just slightly corroded but we can't have that when you look up underneath uh, my car you know it's clean down there baby it's clean Engine mount. This 
does happen where the torsion bar gets stuck to the outside connection and not the uh, inside. So obviously you can't get it out of the car like this. Probably what I'll have to do is uh, drill a hole, thread it, and then use a bolt to push it out. Come on now. There's your torsion bar. You get paid by the hour or what is that? Came over and Helped me pull these banana arms off, and now I got him. Uh, Yo, mama! <laughs> I got him pulling out the heat box things. Are you breaking my shit again? Oh, <laughs> you know what that is? No, gross is what it is. That is a. Uh, there's like a styrofoam block that goes up in there. Easy now. Paint it on. All right, guys, cheers. Rear suspension, totally out. Thanks to Ryan. We also got the front hinges off. Just got the uh, front suspensions left. Some interior bits, the dash. I can see a couple of the bolts that hold it on down in there. Should be pretty close. The gas tank will drop right out. I'll take out the door frames and the quarter, quarter windows. And it's pretty much ready to be shipped off to paint. Metal work, get the, the new roof crafted on. Talked to my roof guy today. Probably gonna head out, pick that up this coming week. We're good to go. Lay next day. I just Tom Sawyer these two guys into working on my car. Struggling with one of the dash bolts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it. Keep going, buddy. Focus. Are you guys certified to work on Porsche? Yeah. You guys certified, you went to the school and everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan has been doing 16. Look at that, dude. Point, what do you call it? 16 turn at a time? 16th of a turn at a time. I gave turn. up. I let him do that. We gave up on the front suspension. We got, got to the wedge bolts on the uh, front strut. I'll show you those. Oh, fudge. fudge. Me and the something. Um. <laughs> yeah, that was total bad language. The old wedge bolt down there. Um, so I got to drill that out. So Ryan, the only other celebrity that you've ever met besides Alan Thicke. <laughs> Twice. I got, I got mad over is, here. Is standing <laughs> right here. <laughs> uh, I didn't even know he was a celebrity. Apparently, he's, he's a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're done for the day. We uh, we kind of failed on the front suspension, but we did get the dash out, so that was a win. Thanks to these two gentlemen here, <laughs> Ryan and Matt. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, Lay next day. So the driver's side had the US 10 millimeter spacer, but the passenger side did it. <laughs> Got the front suspension dropped. Um, I can't get the...
castle nut off, of course, a big, big uh, strut nut. So I'm gonna try put it on the uh, bench vise and apply some heat. She's not coming off. That's some uh, pretty good wear here on my spindle. So I may need to dremel this uh, nut in half. No dice. She's not coming off. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna cut it off. Brute force. Got you. thing was really in there. Managed to only slightly scuff the edge there. This is the piece I, uh, I'm keeping. Man, that was a dirty rat. All right, guys, I struggled with that other one for three different days, tempted three different times, had to cut the uh, ring off. This one, I just got off. No problems. It's just the way it goes sometimes. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Wix Garage. I want to thank Matt Miller, Matt Miller Strong on Instagram, as well as Ryan, a.k.a. Flats and Sticks. Guys, check out Aussie Sales. Link in the description. They sell aluminum hoods and aluminum ducktails. Really hard to find cool products for your Porsche over there. Also want to thank TI Porsche Products. They just released a new one. Uh, it's a heat shield that goes in between your header and your lower valve cover. It's going to keep heat from soaking right up into your engine. Super light, easy to install. Check that out. Next week, guys, uh, I'm going to take you on the journey of uh, finding, discovering, buying that roof clip and uh, my plan to go ahead and replace the awful aftermarket sunroof in this car. So we'll see you next week, guys. Thanks for watching. It's all about humanity.